Today I'm going to show you how you can control your model train layouts and model trains using a smartphone through JMRI. Hello and welcome to Trains and Dioramas. I'm your host Ghost of Chatterjee and if this is your first time here then please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can take part in my adventures of making miniatures. I cover various topics related to model railroading, diorama building and various other miniature projects so if you're a person who likes miniatures I'm pretty sure you'll not be disappointed. Today in part 3 of basics of JMRI I'm going to show you how you can connect your smartphone to your JMRI and then control your model train layout as well as your model trains to any smartphone whether it's Android or Apple devices. In case you have missed the first two episodes of Basics of JMRI and Computer Control, please go ahead and click on the links in the description below. You can also find those episodes on the cards appearing on top right now. All right, so to download uh, the app, uh, you can go to uh, the JMRI uh, website and if you scroll down, you actually have the details. So, you know, there are many apps. Uh, you can uh, have a Windows app, uh, where you basically can uh, run uh, your trains from um, you know a, a Windows computer. Uh, you have the Digi Trains uh, that is an Android app uh, available from Google Play. Um, uh, then you have um, you know uh, the White Throttle app for um, Apple devices, and then you can also have. Uh, you know, uh, uh, a web-based or web browser uh, control uh, called Web Throttle. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward, and you can just, you know, go ahead and use it from uh, any uh, device. It really doesn't matter what uh, device you use when you're using Web Throttle. All right. So, so for our purposes, we will start with the Y Throttle. Um, you know, uh, the Apple uh, device or Apple app. So first you go to your app store and just search for white throttle. So now as you can see you are going to get two options. One is the white throttle light uh, that is free. Another is the uh, white throttle, the you know uh, the original app uh, that comes at about you know ten dollars. So uh, for our purposes just to see what we can get out of uh, all the free stuff free goodies let's go ahead and get the white throttle light so click get yeah so just takes a few seconds click open so now your white throttle is open now in order to you know, access or, or rather to connect white throttle so right now uh, it should automatically uh, take the connection so let's go ahead and see if it has yeah as you can see it already took uh, you know my JMRI railroad uh, and you know my uh, IP address etc now in case it doesn't take so what you need to do is you need to go and in JMRI go to debug window and all the way towards bottom you have start Y throttle server so I actually started it before now in case you ever have to do it um, manually so you give your IP address and you know whatever port number comes after that so in this case 12090 uh, ideally you don't even have to get anything or do anything uh, the moment you start your Y throttle server um, you know um, Y throttle will automatically uh, you know uh, be able to identify and connect now this light version however doesn't really have any uh, you know uh, advanced options like switching on the track power etc so for that you need to switch on the track power from JMRI or from your throttle so let's do go ahead and do that from JMRI now as you can see the light came on uh, light and sound on my locomotive in idle mode now in white throttle i still do not have the locomotive selected so let's go ahead and select one one or we can directly actually go to the roster so um the, the moment uh, the connection is established you will get your complete roster here so 1199 is already there so let's go ahead and select 1199 hit set so once you select it in the roster you need to hit set so once set you go to throttle 
So then you will see 1199 or your locomotive selected in here. Now, once you have um, your locomotive selected, you can control everything. You can check the sound, you can blow whistle. So let's go ahead and move the locomotive forward. So right now it is, you know, the arrow is towards forward, so it's going forward. This is your throttle. Move up a little bit. And to hit stop, hit just stop. So uh, now, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, um, you know, it, it's the easiest way to get started uh, with uh, mobile app based control. Um, app, but this particular one doesn't really give uh, the, the free version uh, of White Throttle, doesn't really give a lot more other than just controlling your locomotive. But that itself is a lot if you really look at it. Um, you don't, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and mute. Okay. So, and again, as you just saw, so I have dual control on, uh, you know, on JMRI as well. So uh, everything I am doing in white throttle, it's basically there is an image out there in in jmri too so you know i can still control my locomotive directly from uh, my computer too so yeah that's uh, uh, there you have it so overall um you know uh you uh, don't really have to spend a hundred two hundred dollars on um you know on a new throttle if you just want to you know control locomotive great way to get started with friends anyone who is coming uh, to your house to play with trains uh, just you know get this um, app downloaded in their uh, mobile and they can just start playing with trains I mean as many as you want if you have 10 people down there you can give you know one locomotive to each uh, you know if, if you really uh, want to go crazy and and have a lot of fun with your railroad now to unlock uh, the full potential of a uh, mobile throttle so I'm gonna go ahead and get the paid version of white throttle so let that get installed and I'll get back to this as soon as it's done all right so now the white throttle is purchased so i'll just hit open so, okay so now since the white throttle previously already you know was configured i'm pretty sure the connection here will take automatically yes as you can see uh it's automatically connected uh though that was a different phone so this is a different phone than the previous one but you know once you have your white throttle server uh it all uh you know works out pretty in a straightforward manner all right so let's see uh some advanced stuff that this throttle can do so you can select the locomotive you know in in the throttle at the beginning you have nothing so you know you cannot move anything so first you need to select so you select the locomotive and you can either enter the locomotive address if you know it in the keypad or you can go to your roster and pick up uh, you know the locomotive from the roster click set and then go back to throttle again so you know it's basically you can respond so if you scroll up you actually get to see all the different functions that uh, are there in the locomotive right so whatever 28 functions are there so now remember that in in the beginning um or, or rather in my previous um videos if you're following uh, my latest uh vlog or vlog i mentioned that i am not really concerned about using a very old command station that is dcs 50 and the reason is this because i you know that command station gives control of up to you know nine functions but i don't really need uh you know the command station to control anything i can just do it using either my computer or my mobile phone right here so let's okay now the locomotive is muted uh so now to show you the real power of this whole setup like the jmri and the app is that and you might have noticed that i have actually taken uh, my throttle uh, up here as well so that i can show this to you um so let's go and take a look at 
the web uh, you know uh, the web server for GMRI now let's go to our panel so show panels so my layout so this is so you see this actually is a copy of this layout so let's click on that so it just you know clicks on getting panels yeah so you can scroll absolutely on touch now you can zoom in if you want uh, just with uh, you know normal uh, spread action so you see you actually get the same view that you have on your JMRI panel here as well that is not it so let's say I want to align this crossover again so let's just click on this yeah so you see it's instantaneous both here as well as well as here and then all you do is you go back to your throttle your locomotive is selected let's go forward Yeah, so you get the point. So now if you want to go back to the web server and let's say I want to align this switch and go reverse again, you know, automatically as you can see, you know, it's real time as I am doing this. I go back to throttle and reverse. I can go the other way as well. So now I basically have power of three devices synced with each other. Now this one is of course in a pretty old uh, uh, in a command station. Uh, this one and because you know my this particular small notebook is touchpad as well. So I actually have two touch uh, devices right now. So you know and if you go to the throttle it will reflect i'm um, sorry uh, the panel in in your uh form it will reflect the changes real time as well all right so another cool feature so if you really go back here so right now you have uh the keypad but see this small toggle here actually gives you the complete list of your switches so you can control your switches not only from uh, you know your panel directly from the smartphone you can also go and control it from your switches here I mean the from from the list and you just tap it it changes it's all real-time reflection here uh, as you can see uh, you know the diverging route is marked in red uh, and uh, the normal route is marked in green uh, so yeah pretty Pretty cool stuff, I would say, uh, with a very, very uh, less investment, minimal investment, so to speak. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about this, and um, I can't wait to see what is in store for all the advanced stuff uh, apart from this that we can do. But even without that, I mean, imagine, I just spent, uh, you know, this is an old controller, uh, about you know uh, seventy dollars that retails in many shops you get it for around sixty dollars this local buffer USB and a ten dollar uh, app uh, and free uh, platform I have immense control over my layout right now as well as my trains even without you know any fancy stuff like you know, block detection, uh, signaling, etc. So I think even if you are just a beginner, even if you are uh, just uh, starting with a hobby, or if you have a normal uh, DCC railroad that you're controlling using your you know, uh, throttles and command station, giving a chance to computer control, especially GMRI, is highly recommended. All right, now to show you, uh, you know, uh, some of the benefits of using uh, a mobile phone-based uh, wireless throttle, as well as, you know, to, to show you how you can have some fun with it. So I'm standing about 20 feet away from, uh, from the layout. So what I'm gonna do is I will go ahead and first uh, turn the track power on, and we'll be operating the layout from here so uh, you know if you can see it all the way uh, to to my workbench 
So we will uh, use the locomotive uh, to pick up that one boxcar standing on the far side of the fork. So track power on, I go to throttle, I already have the locomotive selected. So let's go forward. I already have foam track bumpers uh, as safety measures because you know the layout is so small that you really cannot and, and the track ends actually uh, go all the way uh, to, to the edge of the layout. So the next uh, what we are going to do and uh, just to show you on the layout so right now uh, the tracks are on the independent uh, in a side uh, you know, so what we're going to do is we're going to activate uh, the crossover. So I don't know if you can hear it, but that's done. And throttle, go back. And the one sniffing near my workbench is Strider. So he's curious, but he doesn't really get a lot of access to play with model trains, as you can imagine, and he's definitely not very happy about it. Now this time, I'll go ahead and uh, switch 102 directly from this view. Go forward. <laughs> yeah irrespective of how sophisticated your digital part of your railroad is your coupling and uncoupling uh, is still very much mechanical so now we have uh, the boxcar coupled and you know uh, the train is basically taking it away so now as you can see I could control um, you know the layout as well as the trains from pretty far away and uh, I could uh, you know technically you can do it even from a different room or if I really use JMRI's web server I can even do this from a, a different city or even a country uh, for that matter but just to you know uh, give you an idea of the potential and um, you know uh, potential that this whole solution has I just thought it would be fun to watch how I can control the layout wirelessly from a decent distance. If you're an Android user, uh, then you, know, you can get many of these features uh, for free. So I have downloaded the app Engine Driver on my Android app, uh, sorry, Android phone. Um, you can just simply go to Play Store and search for Engine Driver and look for this uh, you know yellow and brown logo so um, it, it works very much the same way uh, as you can see first uh, when you log in you first have to uh, connect uh, so as soon as you connect it goes to the same wide throttle server so there is no different server at least for engine driver uh, it's uh, it's the you know uh, same uh, server address and the port that is used at your end to uh, talk to the white throttle server. 
uh, you can uh, select an engine from the roster uh, exactly the way we have done it uh, for uh, the uh, uh, iPhone app. Uh, the functions are on the scroll here. As you can see right now, I've, I've selected uh, two throttles. So if I have two trains, I can run. You can go up to six. So that is one of the features in this. I mean, I don't, I cannot really imagine you controlling six trains uh, at a time from any throttle. Uh, it's just going to be crazy. But yeah, if you really have that many parallel tracks or if you have the, the mental capacity to keep track of six different trains at the same time and control them, go ahead. You can, you can definitely go ahead and use it. So it works very much the same way. So uh, for an example right now, uh, if I just want to control uh, uh, the locomotive, I can do that. Okay. Yeah. Most of the features in this app is very similar to what we have seen in the iPhone app as well. Uh, you know, you can connect to uh, your uh, GMRI web server, uh, access the web throttle, uh, then you can uh, go ahead and access the panel, open the panel and operate your layout exactly the same way we have seen it done uh, in the iPhone. The way you access uh, the switch panel and the routes are different. So you swipe right to uh, look at the uh, switches uh, and you can enter the details and control your switches and swipe left uh, to look at your uh, routes. Now that concludes our three-part series on the basics of computer control and GMRI. And as I have shown in last three weeks that you don't necessarily hold on one second let me mute this 1199 yeah shut up well so as as i have shown it really is neither difficult nor very expensive and it gives a lot of benefit in case you really want to have some fun and have flexibility to operate your model train layouts as well as your model trains uh, you can use uh, various uh, mobile phones uh, irrespective of what mobile phone you have as long as it supports uh, their latest operating systems. You can have a very basic computer uh, including uh, you know, uh, very cheap computers like uh, Raspberry Pi. Of course, the process is a little different than what I've been uh, showing you for all uh, in, in this series all along. But still, uh, with a little bit of uh, research and possibly a couple of weekends effort, you can have pretty cool stuff even if you have a very basic layout, everything running on DCC bus, uh, no block detection and no signaling. Addition of smartphone to the mix can definitely be a game changer for you. So you can use any phone uh, and turn that into a throttle. Yet, as we have seen, using your engine driver, you can drive multiple trains, up to six trains from one particular mobile phone. So are you using your smartphone to control your model railroad today? If not, after this video, are you encouraged to go ahead and give computer control and smartphone control a try? Do you feel using a smartphone or smart device to control your model railroad is a cool idea? Or would you still prefer going back to your command station and DCC throttles to control your model railroad and model trains? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. I really hope that this three-part series was helpful, informative, and inspirational for you, especially if you are starting with the hobby or you're contemplating getting into computer control for your model railroad. Hope you have a lot of fun playing with your trains. Until next time, happy railroading.